Hi guys, Amy Star Allen here. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to stream live from Zoom into your Facebook group. This is a feature that used to be a lot easier than it is now. It used to be when you clicked inside of Zoom to, to go live on Facebook, it would give you the option of a page, your profile, or a group. And now there's no option anymore to stream live in a group in that way. So I reached out to Zoom. They said they discontinued that in 2024. So it's a little bit trickier now. And so I wanted to just walk you through how to do this. And actually, just, just to let you guys know, I actually spent an hour and a half on a chat the other night with a guy at Zoom to get this set up. And after all of that, and I, when I went to go live in my Facebook group the next day, it didn't work. <laughs> So I came to my mastermind. I have a mastermind that I'm on every single day. It's our marketing mastermind where we can ask questions about anything at all. And I brought that question there and I learned a much simpler way to do it thanks to the brilliance and all the amazing geniuses inside of our mastermind. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. It's still a little bit tricky, but if you have the directions, it's pretty seamless. So the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the right settings turned on in Zoom. So to do that, you're going to log into Zoom, come under account management, click on account settings. Under account settings, you want to click on meeting. Then you're going to scroll way down to where it says allow live streaming of meetings. And make sure that you have this box clicked here where it says custom live streaming service. You definitely want to make sure you have that box checked and then we're ready to configure it with our Facebook group. So the first step is you're going to set up a meeting inside of Zoom. So I already set mine up, but you would just click on this schedule a meeting here and then you would just name your meeting. And what was recommended to me, which is what I did is to click on recurring meeting and then no fixed time. And then you don't have to worry about the date or anything like that. And then this will just automatically be in your Zoom. So anytime you wanna go live in that Facebook group, it'll be ready to go. So this is how I set mine up. All you have to do is name your, your meeting and click save. Once you have your meeting set up, you're gonna come into meetings, click on the meeting, and then up here, you're gonna click live streaming. And this is where you have to configure your live streaming. So this is where you're gonna get some information from your Facebook group and put it here into Zoom. So this is what it's gonna look like in edit mode. You can click on edit or it, this'll just pop up if you haven't set it up yet. And so you're gonna put in your stream URL, your stream key and your, your live streaming page URL. So the live streaming page URL is just your Facebook group link. So this is the link, you know, if you have a custom domain that you've made through Facebook for your group, you can use that. Otherwise, it'll just be a series of numbers and letters that Facebook gives you. And you'll, you'll find that in the address bar up here when you're inside of your Facebook group. So that's what's going to go here in the live streaming page URL. To get the other links that you need to put into Zoom, you're just going to come into your Facebook group. You're going to click as if you're going to write something, click on the three dots, click live video, and then click go live. And once you're in here, you can click on advanced settings. You'll see the stream key right here and the server URL right here. So you're going to copy the stream key and put it into this box on zoom. And then the stream URL in Facebook, it says server URL, but that's what you're going to put in right here. So you're going to copy this one and put it in this top box here where it says stream URL. Then you're going to click save. It's also a good idea to check this box that says configure live stream during the meeting in case you need that and then click save. So once you've done this and everything is configured in zoom, you're going to come back over to Facebook and you'll see that there are these three spaces here that don't have any boxes checked off. So as you go through these steps, these boxes are going to be checked off. And when all three of them are checked off, that's when you're live. Right from here where it says add post details, this is where you're going to tell the people in your group 
what your video is about. This is, I'm gonna actually be going live as I'm testing this, so I'm just gonna let people know that this is a test. The description is required, so I'm gonna put, um, please disregard, this is a test, save. So you'll see over here where it says complete post details, that's done. So the next thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna connect our video source. So in order to do that, we're gonna come back over to Zoom, grab your Zoom link for your meeting, paste it in the address bar, start your meeting, and then under here where it says more, you're gonna click this, hover over live stream, and then click on live on custom live streaming service. One thing to keep in mind is that your streaming key is gonna be different each time you go live. So you'll need to add this at this step before you click go live. You'll just copy it and paste it over from your Facebook group. We already did that in the previous step, but that's only good for this, this meeting. So next time you go live, you will have to do it again at this point. And then just click go live. So then it's gonna redirect me to my group, but we're not quite live yet. We wanna come back into this window and you'll notice that two of the three boxes are, are clicked now. So the only thing that we have to do now is click go live. Live video is starting. You are now live. And you'll see there I am live in my Facebook group. And now if I come over to the group itself and I refresh the page, you'll see there I am live in my Facebook group. So I hope this helps. And if you'd like to learn more information about the masterminds that I'm a part of and how you can access the exact tools and training that I personally use to have success in my business, I'm a part of an amazing community. I'm actually one of the top affiliates in the company and all of the tools and training that I talk about is the same. It's the same place that I plug in to learn everything that I need to learn about my marketing as well. And all of the tools that I use are part of that as well. So I will leave a link to that below this video if you'd like to learn more about that. And also just be sure and check my description because I have lots of other resources in there that might be helpful for you along your marketing journey as well. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments, leave it a thumbs up if it has, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.